Hi! <laughs> Today I thought I would do a little bit of an update chatty video um, talking about my life at the moment and stuff because I haven't done that in a while and I also wanted to show you my really cute t-shirt from Monkey which has come. Um, yeah, roses are red, violets are blue, women are powerful and valuable too. Also I don't know if you guys have all seen my tattoo um, but yeah if you guys want me to do an updated tattoos and piercings then feel free to let me know. Um, but yes, um, it was my birthday on Friday, I turned 21, which is kind of crazy, um, and I'm still a little bit like, 21. <laughs> like when I think about it, I'm just like, what? <laughs> um, how did that happen? That's kind of insane, and I don't know how that's happened. I've also kind of been doing Vlogtober, I kind of let it slip towards the end, but I have a fair few on my vlog channel, so um, I link that downstairs and you guys can go check those out as well. Um, but in terms of what I've been up to, it's mostly just been uni oriented. I've been quite stressed, I've had a lot of stuff going on, it's final year and so inevitably it's quite an intense, overwhelming year of what am I doing next year, applying to graduate schemes, looking at jobs, um, and whilst doing that trying to balance uni work. Um, basically at the moment I'm doing modern American poetry, which I'm enjoying actually a lot more than I thought I was going to. Every week we look at a new poet of that era, so we kind of mainly focus on the 1960s onwards. We did Allen Ginsberg, we did Frank O'Hara, we did John Ashbery, and then next week, this week is reading week, um, so I don't have anything, any lectures on this week. Um, but from week seven, we're gonna be doing Bob Dylan, which is really interesting because he got the um, Nobel Prize for Literature last year, and a lot of people are saying that's a little bit of a debatable thing because he's a musician, etc. Um, but yeah, that's also really interesting. But anyway, I'm going on a tangent. I'm also doing TMI, confessional writing from Rosso to present, um, which I'm also really enjoying. Um, both of which I wasn't sure if I was going to enjoy them um, as much as I'd hoped because we obviously pick our modules from second year onwards we kind of choose them but they have to fit in blocks for timetables to work so um, I picked modern American poetry but none of them really stood out to me besides that and I was like what do I take so I took TMI um, and I'm really enjoying it. We're looking at the confessional mode of writing. We're looking at a variety of authors and the seminars particularly are so interesting. We have really interesting discussions. My favorite text so far we've looked at is Maya Angelou, um, I Know Where the Cage Burn Sings. I'll pick it up, but I don't wanna knock everything over. Um, but yeah, Maya Angelou, I Know Where the Cage Burn Sings, um, which I loved and she did, I don't know how many, autobiographies but I want to read more of them now um, because that was just fascinating and so interesting give a really valuable insight into like racism at that time and um, African-American um, kind of culture and everything and it's a lot of which we don't really cover in literature and um, we predominantly look at white middle-class men. We also looked at Oscar Wilde's De Profondis um, which was also really good quite hard to read it took me a while bearing in mind it's only over just over 100 pages it took me about a month to read and get through it was so intense and very repetitive and wordy and those that have read wild will know that he is that kind of person but it's just like whoa oscar calm down this weekend just gone i went to london with my girlfriend and we went to the ya um literature festival um and it was aimed at like 18 to 25 year olds so it was really cool because it was just lots of young people in the audience and I met Hannah Witten which was really awesome. I've followed Hannah for so long um, since she started YouTube really and it was just really cool, a bit overwhelming, I kind of got a bit starstruck and I was just like oh my god Hannah Witten. I went to UOB and so I was just like um, oh my gosh I go to UOB, you went to UOB, etc. Um, I bought Doing It whilst I was there, her book. Um, and Sana, Books and Quills, I also have followed for years and she unexpectedly was interviewing Hannah and I was just like, and Chloe was like, who are these people? And I was just like, Sana from Books and Quills. But um, yeah, Hannah signed it, which was really cute. And she was great and did a really awesome discussion on um, sex ed and schools and like, different things, body image, etc. I've just dropped my makeup back on the floor. Sunday, we went to Oxford Street, wandered around the shops. I met a friend from Instagram, which you guys might have seen on Instagram. Um, and I got freebies from Lush, which was really cool, made bath bombs, it was great. This week is reading week. Um, I had a close reading to do, um, which I've written, um, and that's my first draft, so I need to go back over that. Um, 
and in terms of next year I have no idea what I'm doing which I really didn't want to be the case and I'm just trying not to put pressure on myself but it, it's just like I kind of had it in my head that I knew the path I was going down and now I literally have no idea. I've been applying to a lot of grad schemes and just keep getting rejected and it's very demoralizing and demotivating and just like but it happens and I'm certain that something's gonna come up so it'll be okay. At the moment in my head I'm like do I do a masters? Do I try and get into marketing and all that kind of thing through a grad scheme but I've applied to multiple grad schemes and I'm not getting anything um, and so I just don't know what I'm doing and if I did my masters would I do it here? Where am I gonna live? It's just so much stress and I just don't know what I'm doing. That's about it from me really. I hope you guys are all doing well and that if you're at uni or at school or whatever that it's all going well and I shall talk to you again soon. Bye!